Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. There's something uniquely disturbing about people vanishing into thin air. In most of these sudden disappearance cases, there doesn't exist a single clue, and the person appears to be wiped off the face of the earth. In this video, we're going to tell you about 10 people who disappeared without a trace. So let's get into it. Number 10. Ray Gricar Let's start with the politician everyone knows and remembers. Ray Gricar, an American district attorney, disappeared mysteriously in 2005. On April 15, 2005, Ray took a day off. At 11.30 a.m., he called his girlfriend, Patricia Fornicola, to say he was taking a drive on Route 192. When Gricar failed to return home later that evening, his girlfriend reported him missing. The following day, investigators identified the car driven by Ray in an antique store parking lot in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. The car contained his cell phone, but not his laptop computer, nor his keys, nor his wallet. A month later, fishermen discovered Gricar's laptop computer in the Susquehanna River beneath a bridge. Analysis of the laptop showed that its hard drive was missing. Two months later, someone recovered a hard drive on the banks of the Susquehanna River about 100 yards from the location of the laptop. Investigators believed it to be the hard drive of Gricar's laptop, but it was badly damaged and all attempts to recover the data failed. The police still don't know where he went because a body was never found. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 9. D.B. Cooper D.B. who? Exactly. Although the saga of a bold air pirate known to the media as D.B. Cooper may not be familiar to most young people of the aviation industry, the residents of Ariel, Washington, and the FBI will never forget Thanksgiving Eve, 1971. That was the day when the gentleman skyjacked Northwest Orient Airlines Flight 305 bound for Seattle-Tacoma International Airport. Shortly after the 30-minute flight departed from Portland, Oregon, Cooper disclosed to a flight attendant that he was in possession of explosives and demanded $200,000, four parachutes, and a refueling truck upon landing at SeaTac. Once the plane landed at SeaTac, the ransom payout and parachutes were handed over and Cooper released Flight 305's passengers. The refueling process began, at which point Cooper revealed to the plane's pilot and a handful of other crew members his desired destination, which was Mexico City. About 30 minutes after the flight departed at 7.40 p.m., Cooper, wearing a parachute and in possession of the ransom money, jumped from the plane's aft air stair at 10,000 feet and into the night. To this day, the identity of D.B. Cooper remains a mystery, and it's unclear if he even survived the jump. Still, in an ongoing effort to solve the nation's mystery of the only unsolved skyjacking, the FBI has processed thousands of possible suspects, including copycat hijackers, and spent millions of dollars, but still haven't found how the guy pulled it off. Or did he? What do you guys think? Number 8. Jim Sullivan Imagine a celebrity disappearing into thin air. Sounds impossible, right? Well, Jim Sullivan pulled it off. American singer-songwriter James Anthony Sullivan made headlines in 1975 when he just disappeared. On March 4, 1975, he left Los Angeles to drive to Nashville alone in his Volkswagen Beetle. The next day, he checked into a motel in Santa Rosa, New Mexico, but did not sleep there. The next day, he was seen again about 26 miles away at a remote ranch owned by the Gennetti family. He's never been seen or heard from ever again. His car was later found abandoned at the ranch, and his guitar was in it. The mysterious nature of his disappearance is amplified by his cryptic lyrics in the album UFO, and in the album he talks about long highways, leaving his family behind, and being abducted by aliens in the desert. The lyrics have a creepy similarity to the actual situation leading to Jim's disappearance. Did he get pulled up by aliens, or just went on to live in some remote village for the rest of his life? We might never know. Number 7. Louis Le Prince It shouldn't come off as a surprise if this name rings a bell. Popularly known as the father of cinematography, Louis Le Prince was a French-born inventor. On the 14th of October in 1888, he shot the world's first motion picture called the Roundhay Garden Scene with a single-lens camera that he created and patented. In September of 1890, Le Prince was preparing to go back to the UK to patent his new camera. 
Before his journey, he decided to return home and visit friends and family. On the 13th of September, he took a train to visit his brother in Dijon, and on the 16th of September, he boarded the Dijon Paris Express. But when the train arrived in Paris, Le Prince was not on board. Neither his body nor his luggage was on the train. The last person to see Le Prince alive was his brother. No one saw Le Prince on the Dijon Paris Express after he was seen boarding it. The French police, Scotland Yard, and the family conducted exhaustive searches, but the mysterious disappearance case of Le Prince was never solved. Number 6. Joseph Force Crater A Supreme Court judge disappearing shouldn't be easy, right? Well, it was back in the 30s. On August 3, 1930, a 41-year-old New York Supreme Court judge named Joseph Force Crater returned to New York from a trip to Maine, leaving behind his wife, Stella, and promising to return within a week. Three days later, he went to his bank and withdrew $22,500, and he joined a lawyer friend, William Klein, and a showgirl named Sally Lou Ritz at a chop house near Times Square. After they parted, he was never seen or heard from again. Maybe he ended up in the tropics with a sack full of cash and a couple of corines. Maybe he ended up in small pieces at the bottom of a gravel pit. Joseph Force Crater disappeared efficiently, completely, and forever. Number 5. Amelia Earhart In the 1930s, Amelia Earhart was one of the most famous women in the world. She was a best-selling author, feminist hero, a faculty member at Purdue University, and friend of First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt. Her flying prowess made her a role model for many women. Earhart was intent on making a trip circling the globe, covering more than 30,000 miles, but never was seen again after her takeoff. After Earhart vanished, the United States government conducted its largest ever search for a lost aircraft, but turned up empty-handed. While she was officially declared dead two years later, that hasn't stopped speculations about her fate. Depending on which theory you believe, Earhart might have crashed and died right then, or died years later in captivity, or lived into her late 70s as a New Jersey housewife. We'll probably never know what happened to her. Number 4. Jimmy Hoffa Back in the day, no one was more famous than Jimmy Hoffa in the USA. It's clear from the recent movie The Irishman that Jimmy was offed by the mob. But for decades, the question remains, what did they do with his body? The leader of the corrupt Teamsters Union, famed mob boss Jimmy Hoffa, was eventually sent to jail for his crimes in 1967. After being pardoned by President Richard Nixon, he was slated to meet two other prominent organized crime members at a Detroit restaurant. Though his car was found running outside, Hoffa himself was gone and was never seen again. For decades, his death was a mystery. Finally, decades later, it was discovered that he had become a problem for the mob and they dealt with him with the good old mafia way. His body was never found. Number 3. Joan Risch The disappearance of Joan Risch has to be one of the weirdest missing person cases, no matter which theory you read. On October 24, 1961, her husband Martin left early to catch an 8 a.m. flight to New York City for an overnight business trip. At 1.55 p.m., Risch took her daughter and the neighbor boy to his parents' home and left them at the swing set in the yard without saying anything to the boy's parents. She told them she would be back, then returned home alone. At 2.15 p.m., a neighbor saw Rich standing next to her blue sedan outside the family's residence on Old Bedford Road. This is the last time anyone saw Rich. Her daughter came home from the neighbors at 4 p.m., then immediately ran back to say that her mother was missing and red paint covered the kitchen walls, which was actually blood. Some people theorized that Rich chose to stage her own disappearance because she was unhappy with her life. Others speculated Rich was attacked and was suffering from amnesia as a result. Whatever it was, Joan was never seen again. What do you think happened to her? And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and you want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in a future video. This is one of the recent cases of disappearance, which makes it very creepy. Murray was just 21 years old when she disappeared in 2004. She was a nursing student at the University of Massachusetts Amherst and emailed her professors that she would be missing the next week of class due to a death in the family. There had been no such death in the Murray family. The last time she was seen was on the side of the road after her car had allegedly skidded off. After that, she was never seen again. Theories abound as to how and why she disappeared, from intentionally disappearing, to getting lost in the woods, to encountering a dangerous animal. 
Number 1. Jim Gray On Sunday, January 28, 2007, American computer scientist and winner of the Alan Turing Award, Jim Gray, took a solo sailing trip to the Farallon Islands near San Francisco to scatter his mother's ashes. At 10.30 a.m., he called his wife, Donna Carnes, from his 40-foot yacht, Tenacious. A couple of hours later, his sailboat was spotted by a naturalist from southeast Farallon Island. Then Gray and his boat vanished, and that was the last time Jim was seen. No sailors in the area reported seeing the boat adrift, and not a single light vest, flashlight, or scrap of debris belonging to Tenacious washed up on local beaches. After being missing for five years, Gray was legally assumed to have died at sea, but no one is sure what happened to him. Which one of these disappearances was the most fascinating? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.